Welcome to Celebrity Insights with Luann Lee. This week we are having Ron Artest come into the studio. Let me tell you, that is a tall glass of water. A glass of water I'd like to drink. Or AKA Meta World Peace. And um, wouldn't mind having a piece of that. Come on now, come on now. Oh, so we have a lot of celebrities sitting around the round table. They're fun, they're exciting, they're gorgeous. The very famous, very beautiful, gorgeous, Sandra Taylor. And you have to say it like that, Sandra Taylor. And you'll get it when you see her. She's gorgeous and very, very girly. You're gonna love the show, stick around. Hi, we are sitting here with Ron Artest, AKA Meta World Peace. Laker player, Dancing with the Stars contestant. Let's talk about the orange hair on Dancing yeah. with the Stars. What happened there? Well, you know, just being different. Yeah. You know, I wanted to go in there, and I didn't want to be the regular person that people was expecting, or just being a regular. Right. You know, with, the, with, the, with the suit, I wanted to be stand outish, and I was. You uh, did. She was amazing, though. You guys look kind of cute. That was yeah. the cutest black and white cookie I've ever seen in my whole yeah, life. Yeah, Oreo cookie. Yeah. <laughs> well, where was the other black part? If it was an uh, Oreo cookie, it was, like, uh, it was a know. black and white cookie. It was a black and white cookie. That is so awesome. I don't yeah. think people see this other side of you. Yeah. You know, they see the guy playing basketball, chasing the guy, you know, with the Coke in yeah. the stands. And you told me about that. That is an amazing story. You've got to tell the people watching that you are yeah. now good friends with this guy. Yeah, it's, it's, well, it's it was, unbelievable. It was crazy because the guy, all right, he was a he was an alcoholic, felon type guy, whatever. You know, he had a bad rep back in Detroit. Right. So at the game, you know, so much going on in the arena, he throws the Coke at me which was there probably, hits me in the face and I react, I run into the stands, and that's all people saw was that. So I saw my psychologist and she was telling me, you know, work through it, you're gonna be okay, and I decided to call him. Wow. So I got his number, I called his house, <laughs> his wife picked up the phone. Right, how'd that go? <laughs> it was crazy, it was crazy. Right, right, what did, what did she say? Who's this? It was crazy, she said, um, you know, who is it? I, I say it's Ron Artest. <laughs> and she said, get the fuck out of here. <laughs> she thought it was like a prank, practical joke or something. She Somebody else it calling it. Right? And then, um, and, then she, and then I said, no, it is me, whatever. I told her why I'm calling. And I was calling John, so I, I wanted to do some stuff in Detroit, some good stuff. Why were you calling him? Because you just, what, what, you wanted it to be over, the situation over? Or yeah. You were calling to apologize to him? Or no, of what? course not. Okay, so why <laughs> were you calling? What was the reason? I thought it was a good opportunity to give back to kids and let kids see two people that had conflict coming together. Did you catch any flack when you gave away your ring? I gave, I gave the ring, I, I raffled it off for charity, you uh. know, so the money I raised through raffle, we gave it to Mental Health Awareness Causes, people in Arkansas, Cleveland, Indiana, New York, Chicago, maybe. What's LA. the name of the charity? Um, Excel University is my foundation, and through my foundation, we gave, you know, uh, the, some of the proceeds to, you know, all these different foundations. Uh. And so I raffled my ring off, you know, for mental health causes, and it made $700,000. Get out! And I, and I always told myself, damn, we should have just raffled off. <laughs> Seven <laughs> hundred thousand dollars. All from the fans, the fans, all the fans. It was amazing. That is amazing. Yes. You know, you continue to touch me. You continue to, to touch my heart, and I just, uh, I, 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 uh, well, I could go. I yeah. could go a different place with that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Will you please touch I me? You now? Was going to <laughs> I could have sworn you was going somewhere else. You have a movie or something? Yes, yes, we did a couple movies. I did um, a movie called Nine Full Moons. That'll be out like February. Then I did another movie called The Waking. Wow. And then I did another movie um, called Think Like a Man. That one was, was with uh, Kevin Hart. Think Like a Man? Think Is like that kind of like Walk Like a Man? No, it's Think like, like a think Man. Think Like a Woman. A book, old book called Think Like a Woman, but this one's called Think Like a Man. And uh, uh, so I did that. Uh -huh. And um, I'm working on a couple more. So. Uh, this Hollywood thing is really catching me by storm, but it's fun. Good. It's fun. Well, I'm so glad you had time to stop by here. Yes. Next time I get a haircut on your show. Oh, that's right. Do you know, I gave you, I, I was with you in your haircut. Oh, we're still rolling. You better edit that out. <laughs>